Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, my name is Dana. Come on in and take a seat. If you are existing fam, guess what? This is a Invisalign video. I know, I know it's been a while, but you guys finally, I'm here. I normally like to wait until I get some like obvious things that I've noticed a change. And so I have, and of course we're staring down the end of this, you guys. So without further ado, before we get in here, I want to make sure that you guys make sure you watch one through five. This is part six. So if you have not watched one through five, you definitely want to go back and watch those videos first because you need to know where did I start? It is a huge difference and you got to know where I came from first before you watch this video. Okay. And so again, um, if you guys like this video, make sure you hit a thumbs up. Don't forget to comment down in the comments below, you guys. I am curious to what you guys would like to know in the upcoming videos after this. I would like to know what tray are you on if you're doing Invisalign. Um, fill me in. I want to know the tea. And also, don't forget to subscribe so you know every time I put out a video. Again, you guys, I am actually coming closer to the end. So I definitely will be doing videos to let you guys know what is to be expected after this. So you definitely want to stay tuned. So without further ado, you guys, let's get into it. So wait a minute, you guys. I totally forgot that your girl got an Instagram account. So you definitely want to follow me on there because I'm doing all types of fun things. That's where I show my personality and get to know you guys. You guys get to know me a little bit better. But it is at I am Dana LA. So don't forget to check that out, okay? And also, do not close out just yet towards the end because you guys do not want to miss when I show you guys the actual end results and the full closeness of my bite. So make sure you stay all the way to the end. So I actually went into the office probably about a week ago and they actually came in and told me that um, we're going to scan you for the third round of Invisalign. Um, I've already had total 77 trays so far. So right now where I'm sitting on my third box is total of 77 trays. <laughs> Completely, that's a lot of trays, I know. And I've had three boxes total, well, total of four boxes because they split the 36 box in half. So they gave me half in the beginning and then when it was time for me to get the second half, they gave me that. So it was 36, then 24 trays, and now I'm at my last box, which is 17 trays. So let me tell you about this 17 tray. It perfecting and it's closing my bite just a little bit more. Um, one of the things that the lady ex uh, explained to me is we are putting back on the elastic bands. I was so sad. However, I'm okay with it because I understand that the elastic bands help correct your bite. So if you do not know exactly what they do, they definitely help your teeth come down on each other the right way, especially if you had an open bite or overbite, you definitely want to use elastic bands because it helps correct that. And so um, they did explain to me this time it's a little different. So I have these elastic bands. I actually have some here with me today and they're just a small rubber band that you place on your post and then your actual Visalign liners have a hook on them that you just put at the top of here. They're usually at your, your actual sharp teeth and then your molar or vice versa. So with mine, I have to hook them from the bottom to the top, but it's a little bit different because I put my right one on and I wear that all day and I leave my left one off until night and then I wear it while I'm sleeping at night, but in the morning I have to take it off. So I'm not gonna lie, sometimes I'll be feeling like Too Faced. That's funny. Because half of my face feel like it's being pulled all the time and the other side of my face is just relaxed. But that's a whole nother story. What I forgot, and I wanna make a disclaimer because again, I'm very honest in my reviews, so I don't want anybody to be <laughs> unexpected get something unexpected and say well why didn't you mention that um when you have not worn elastic bands for quite a while and i haven't i've probably been away from elastic bands for a couple months now because they said i didn't have to wear them for a break but now they're going to the other side because they want to close this in a little bit more hence why i only wear this all day but i don't wear this but until night 
So because of that, I put them on the first day, you guys. All I'm gonna say is, whoo, that pain happened all over again. And again, it only happens for like two days. For me, everybody's pain tolerance is different, but for me, it definitely took about two days for me to get used to it. Somebody asked me in the comment section, do you get used to it? You do, you absolutely do. The thing is, you have to wear them consistently the way they tell you to wear them, which again, the 22 hours, the amount of time that you have on your aligners and whatever your doctor specifically tell you to wear them. So again, the left one, I don't wear until night, but the right one, I have to wear 22 hours, at least a day, all while I have my actual aligners on. And again, I forgot what it felt like. So it's no painful than you going to the dentist if you ever had braces and they tighten your braces on that day whatever pain you feel or whatever sensation you feel that that pressure you feel is the same thing at least it feels for me the same thing so it's not like it's, it's something i've never felt before it's just that i had a break from it so i forgot and then when i put it on i was like oh i gotta get an advil i gotta get a tylenol i gotta get something so um again i did take an ibuprofen and that kind of help, helps it whatever you take if you're cramping if you're a girl or if you a guy, whatever you take for the like relieve a headache or something, you would just take that until the time uh, passes. If you wake up in the morning, you don't feel anything, then that's great. But um, it took me like two days. After the second day, I'm used to it now. I'm completely used to them. I don't feel anything at all. It's just a breeze for me. And so I'm happy about that. But again, I do believe if you stop wearing them and your bite go back to you know the way it was and you might have to start that cycle that pain cycle all over again so we don't want to do that not doing that okay so some of the things that i want to discuss while i also was here so i make sure i did not forget the tech lady when i was sitting down explained to me because um i had like one aligner left out of my packet and she was like we're just gonna switch you over to the last box anyway and i'm like well wait i still got one left she said no no, no it's okay because the last four trays are just play setters anyway. So the last four trays that you have in the box is what she was trying to explain to me is that they're just trays that's the same thing to just keep you held until you go to them. So she just was able, and I didn't, I really didn't feel anything much about it. And I was like, I kept asking my husband, like, I don't know why I don't feel anything on these trays, but it was because they were the same trays. It's just that they keep you, probably to get you used to the habit of changing weekly or maybe it's because um, your your elastic bands, if you have elastic bands on, you still have to keep them on, of course. But um, yeah, so it was nice to know that because I think also this last box, the last four ones is just the same tray of the last one, if that's making sense. I hope that's making sense to you guys. So you guys know in typical fashion, I always give you guys a little small clip in the office to let you guys see the assimilation of what this last box is gonna do from beginning to end. So I'm about to roll a clip. Do you want that angle that we were just Yeah, at? you could do the front and then the side. I think the side, don't the side show it a little bit? Yeah, and depending on what we're moving, yes. Okay. So there we go. Okay. A lot of movement. Yes. We'll do it again. I'm super excited. Beautiful. Yes. So see, there go attachment right there. Piece. Oh, sorry for this week. Okay. Yeah. So now that you guys see that, you see what is the last results and what it looked like. Again, the last step. Um, I'm keeping my elastic bands on as much as possible, the way they're telling me to, because this is the last piece to the puzzle of finishing out my aligner. So I'm going to show you guys. They put. In the beginning, I had the post up here because the post up here then pulled down here. But now, when I went in, they actually hooked, if you see that gray thing right there, they got one right here, and then I got one back there. So those are placed on there so now that I can pull the rubber bands in the opposite position or whatever. And again, that doesn't hurt. The only thing that annoys me when I go in, everybody again is sweet and it's nothing that the tech can do to make it any easier. It's just the way it is. It's when they drill and they have to clean off 
the actual leftover glue from the top part. So make sure you guys that they, um, if they swap and it's a steel piece up here, make sure they, they get the glue off so that they can put the ones down here because it was just so annoying because it's like you feel it scraping up against your teeth. But again, it's nothing that the text is doing wrong. That's just the name of the game. But it was something that I was just like, I had to constantly get used to, but I'm used to it now. So now that we finished with all of that, you guys, it is time to show you guys what you came for and exactly where my bite looked like from now. So, um, again, uh, the actual liners have a thick piece of plastic on there, so it's still a little gap um, when I have the liners on, and then I'm gonna take them off so you can see how they look. So with the liners on, this is the way it look. Ooh. You guys, do you see this? If you saw my beginning video, you would have been like, oh my freaking God. I literally, I'm not gonna lie, I was, I was so hopeful and so like, you know, praying that it would come through, but because it was such a wide open, I did not know how far they could get it, but oh my God, like this looks amazing. So now I'm gonna take them off with the liner so you guys can see the whole thing together, son. So this is the final without the liners. <laughs> You guys, I'm so ecstatic. Like I said, this was the best thing I ever did. I had no idea. Like I said, I remember the day I went into the office and I mentioned it to the first orthodontist and he was just like, well, it's nothing we can do. Like, oh well. And just to be right now where I'm at and, and look, oh my God, I'm so thrilled. I'm so happy that I can just go forward and not have to worry about this anymore. And I can talk to you guys and I can smile and I can do it. Not that I couldn't before, but I don't have to be so conscious of this. This is completely behind me. So when I say this was the best thing that I ever did and ugh, look at this. So just to give you a little tidbit, the reason for why they have my elastic bands on right side all, all the time is because this one, they're gonna close this up a little bit more. They want my back to completely, they wanna get it as close as they can so they can come down a little bit more. This one, as you can see, is, is down way more than this side. So they got me wearing this to all day to kind of correct that bite part, to make sure that my teeth is coming down completely on top of each other. And again, I'm so thrilled. I'm so thankful to all the doctors and the staff. I, again, I was in great hands. I thank Avisalign for coming out with this method because again, I don't know if I would have went through with it. I don't know. So again, this is a great way of correcting and not just, again, you can still go to work. Um, one of the things that me and my husband discussed is because uh, we were thinking about moving. And so if I was doing braces, I remember them actually telling me I would have had to have braces on for at least probably about four to three years. This did not take that long. And so I'm literally right at the door. I think I have like up until October to be completely done with this last box. And you guys, that's behind me. So I, I didn't want to have to have it where now I got to figure out who is going to take my case in another city, um, how I'm going to transfer all this. Are they going to give the needed attention that they do here? So it was just the best thing for me that I went with Invisalign because it went past like a blink of an eye. Literally, it was like a year and probably like six months, a year and six months or so. Was it a year and six months before? Well, you got it on your birthday. This was April. Yeah. Uh, 2021 yeah so a year yeah, yeah it was about a year and six months you guys so that went past like a blink of an eye um i'm just glad i didn't i'm just glad i went with this because most time you can just sit there and be like mm, do i want to do this i don't know if i want to do it but it really worked out completely fine and now if we want to move we don't have to worry about who gonna take my case because I'm literally at the end of this now. So again, I, I couldn't be more thankful. I am gonna show you guys how I put on my elastic bands. So of course you wanna put actually on your aligners first. And again, they have these little posts. So not on my bottom ones because they already put the steel posts on the bottom side. I'll show you some. But on this one, there is a little it's a post. I don't know if you guys can see that. I'm gonna try to make it. There is a little edge right here that's a post. 
that is what you're gonna hook your elastic band on in order for it to grab. And then you're gonna connect it to the bottom part. So I'm gonna hook this right here. And because it's not night yet, and I have to put it on, because it's not night yet, and I have to put it on the right side all day, I'm only gonna put the right side on, but at night you're gonna do the same thing with the left side, if your doctor tell you that's what they wanna do. Each case is different. So your doctor is gonna tell you if you're gonna even wear elastic bands, because some people might not need them, they'll tell you in the direction they want you to put it on and all that stuff. So I'm gonna hook it, but normally I hook it to there and pull and then graze it at the top and it should hook on. Come on, there you go. And as you can see, you let it go. And so it's coming from here all the way down to my post. And I've definitely seen a tremendous amount of change um, when I come down on my teeth. It used to be a time where it felt like if train tracks was like off, like it was just completely off, like when I was bite down. Now they're directly on top of each other. Um, again, in the beginning, you're gonna feel pressure. You're gonna feel like someone just tightened up your teeth, but just try to remember that's the same thing you go through when they tighten your actual braces, if you ever got braces before. Um, it's the same feeling, but again, after two days, my tolerance, it, I didn't feel it anymore. Like I'm completely used to it. All right, you guys, this is it. So I hope you guys like this video. Again, I could not be happier. I'm so grateful and thankful that this is just done and I'm staring right at the end of it. Um, again, I wanna know what week you guys are on. If you're doing the Invisalign, please let me know in the comments what week you're on. Cause I like to, like I remember when I was at what Trey, so I like to remember when people tell me, like a young lady told me she was on week 18 or one of those, and I was like, oh, I remember I was seeing huge changes then. So that's always fun to me. I just like hearing you guys, uh, where you guys are at as of right now. But again, make sure you guys comment below. Um, don't forget to like this video if you do. That lets me know to make more videos. And I'm not gonna leave you guys high and dry. I am still gonna come back and do um, another update because I want to make sure I show you guys towards the end and then what what am I going to do? What what's, what to be expected after this, of course. I'm also due for a updated version of what I've used and revamped during this time of me having Invisalign because there are some items that I swapped out and now I'm using and they have been just great this entire process. So that is going to come up next. What I use to keep my teeth white during this process, all those things are coming next. So you guys hold tight and make sure you look out for that. And don't forget to subscribe so you guys see the next time I post out a video like this. And so until next time, you guys, bye.